What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. We're talking about big nickel over G defense and I just want to let you know that I've been saying for a long time that the big nickel over G is going to be the best defense in Madden 22 and I'm going to be working on a guide over the course of the next couple days. We're going to be trying to drop that as soon as possible uh, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a preview of that. I wanted to kind of give you some of the stuff that I'm working on and a concept that you can apply to the defenses outside of the big nickel over G. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the YouTube channel. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about with this defense is really a concept that I think you're going to need to be aware of in terms of Madden 22, um, at least for the way the zones are working right now. The way zones are working right now is basically... They just don't work. <laughs> um, to put it lightly, they really just don't work very well. Um, pretty much a streak will bomb anything. Uh, I was talking to a couple of uh, professional Madden players this weekend, and they were telling me, like, literally, you're seeing, like, some of the best defensive players in the Madden community over the last couple of years be in games where they're giving up 40 to 50 points a game. So that's just kind of the state of the game right now. So I wanted to give you kind of some tools uh, that I think, uh, or really just a concept that I actually learned in Madden 21 but this carries over into Madden 22 with a little bit of a twist to it. And this is just a, a very simple coverage, but I think this is gonna help a lot of you guys. And I'm just gonna show this against, um, I'm just gonna come out here. Now, real quick, whenever I lab defense, I like to go into the actual regular play now game mode. And the reason why I like to do that, and I'm gonna grab here, I'm just gonna grab two plays, I'm gonna grab doubles and sale, and then I'm gonna grab PA counter go. Cause those are the two routes, right? The deep corner, the deep crosser. And we're going to talk about those in this as well. But um, anyways, all that to say, what I was what I was getting at is I like to lab in practice mode because you can't even set your coaching adjustments on defense in, uh, in, in practice mode. So I like to lab in the regular play now mode, and I just turn the play clock off so I have unlimited time to be able to do this. Okay, so big new Clover G. All we're going to do is we're going to put our slot cornerback package on the field, and then you're going to see here that whenever you go through and you know kind of mess around with your adjustments, kind of tinker around a little bit, you can see here that I can put um, I can put a safety in at the linebacker position. So I love safeties this year. I think if we're still in that situation where we need to have them. Um, real quick on my zone drops, I did a video on this on my coaching adjustments, but you're going to see here curl flats are on 30, flats are on 10, and hooks are on 10. Okay, that's all you're going to look at here, and I'm just going to come out and cover four quarters. And I really want to show you this defense. So I'm in quarters, which is a match defense, um, but I have my zone drops on. And what you're going to see is this is going to change the kind of uh, dynamic of this zone coverage. And you're going to be very, I think, very surprised at how this defense is going to work. So all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz. And what you're going to see is it's going to bring that inside quarter to the line of scrimmage. Now that's part of the equation. The second part of the equation is to get this other inside quarter inside the box. Now um, this is a really important thing. I think it's really important this year to have uh, cover four to me is the best defense right now, whether it be cover four drop or cover four quarters. And I think the best little pro tip that you can do with it is take these safeties or inside quarters and really bring them down into the box. So you're going to see here, I'm going to bring this guy all the way over here in the box. And then I actually have been enjoying using this guy um, against trips tight end as opposed to the backside linebacker because I need him for coverage. Um, this year's game, you can't drop, you know, nine people every play, at least not yet. Uh, I haven't been able to anyways, and I haven't seen anyone that's been able to consistently win dropping nine people. You're going to need to blitz at least three this year, more than likely four, uh, which is a little bit different than in years past. So that being said, all we're going to do here is, as you see here, this is kind of the base look. And then the only thing that I like to do is I'm just going to simply shade coverage down and pass commit. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And what you're going to see is it's going to really bring these zones down. Now, uh, I'm just going to go over the corner route first, and then we're going to go over some other things. But let's just go over this doubles and sale. And I just want you to watch this corner route to the tight end. So you're going to see here, I'm just going to click off, and I'm just going to use our D tackle. I just want you to watch the coverage. Okay? So, so at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that I'm going to throw this corner route to the X. And take a look at what happens. They guard him. <laughs> They actually guard him, okay? Because cover four quarters is a match defense at heart, um, in my, from at least it's just what I've seen, the quarter zones um, will actually come down on routes like corner routes and street, or um, corner routes and crossing routes and, and things like that if they don't have some kind of pool route there. So let me now show you the corner route to the other side of the field. So we're just gonna go doubles and sail, and we're just gonna streak this square receiver and again, we're just gonna show blitz, shade coverage down, and then just bring this guy into the box. And like I said, my general user is gonna be this guy, but we're gonna come back to that in just a second, okay? 
So now I want you to watch the corner route on the left side to Scotty Miller, snap the ball, and you'll see here, this is a little bit more open, but you see how that guy comes down on the ball, okay? Again, this is a little bit more open, but just I understand this is kind of a concept that you can apply. Um, it's actually really good against bunch and bunch tight end. It's better against those two. Uh, trips tight end still can kind of get open, but bunch and bunch and uh, bunch tight end, this does a really good job against like Z spot or curl flat corner or PA boot over or some of those plays. So now I want to show you um, kind of the next step of this defense. Or I want to show you one other thing real quick, and that's the crossing route against this so just show blitz and then you're gonna see I'm just gonna drag this guy down and just for sake of the video I'm not even gonna worry about using one I'm just gonna leave him over there but all you're gonna do streak X table route here and once you just watch the crossing route look at that outside quarter you see how he goes to him now again he doesn't stop him but he goes to him and is actually in the area where the ball is thrown now, what I've found is what this means for my user um, is my user has a little bit of a different responsibility, okay? My user now, instead of being the person that guards the underneath, right? Now I've got to decide who I'm gonna go guard, how I'm gonna guard it. And the way that I've figured out how to kind of tackle some of this stuff um, is just through trial and error. And so depending on the formation and depending on the tendency, in this year's game, you're gonna have to make a lot of adjustments, I think, on defense. You're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to base it off tendencies. What are they actually throwing versus what are you just kind of thinking they're gonna throw that they're not? Um, I think that's super important this year because you have you have less um, you you just don't have as good of resources as you had in Madden 22. Okay, so I'm just gonna punt the ball here and I want to go back over some of the things um, if I can find the pump button here. There we go. So I'm just gonna punt the ball back to my guy. Uh, and again, if you wanna get my free offenses and defenses that I release every single week to my community, uh, all you gotta to do to sign up for that is just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, okay? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about this, this kind of next level of this and, and, and what this means. So uh, you're gonna see your big nickel over G, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back out in trips tied in and now what we're going to do is we're just going to go with um i guess we'll just come up and be a it's no big deal what i want you to notice is what we're going to do with our user okay so let's say that as a user responsibility we say okay if we see a crossing route we're going to go get it and then what we're going to basically do is we're going to blitz three people okay so we're going to take that slot corner on the back on the trip side and we're gonna put him into a seam flat zone. Okay, that's gonna get really good depth. It's gonna kind of play inside and outside and do a good job, we'll show you how it does. And then we're gonna drop that defensive lineman on that left side into a flat zone. Okay, so we've got that covered. Because we brought these uh, inside quarters in, they're gonna kind of you know, take away like streaks and, and stuff like that early in the play. And so now I just wanna show you the same route to doubles and sale. So something like that. And I just want you to see what happens. So now I've got that 30 yard uh, seam flat zone and take a look at what he does. He didn't catch the ball there, but he's right in position to be able to make a play. Okay, so you see kind of the, the point of what I'm trying to make. This is a way that you can actually play a little bit of coverage in Madden 22. And this is the best that I've found, at least to this point. Um, is to the, it basically do this coverage right here. And um, with this guy right here, you're gonna kind of base it off their tendencies. If their tendency is to run a bunch of people over the middle, you're not going to drop this guy on a hard flat. If they, you know, typically for me, at least in my experience, I typically will be dropping that guy on a hard flat, okay? But anyways, so that being said now, um, I want to show you this table route to the back, and this is why I like to use those flats. So if you watch this table route to the back, you're going to see right there, he's going to get out there and tackle him. Now we're able to complete that, but he's able to tackle him for, you know, gain of three or four, right? Gain, gain about five. So what that's gonna allow us to do is, you know, again, kind of force them to play a little bit of bend but don't break style. Obviously, if you bump that down to five yards, you're gonna get a little bit better uh, defense on this. But now the next thing that I wanna show is what this defense can do against a crossing round. So remember, now we've added a user and my user is over here in this field. So you know, I could just do something like this right here, real simple. Um, one of my favorite things to do, especially against trips tied in in particular, 
is to go ahead and put that over there unless they motion somebody over, which is a concept that I used last year because there's no vertical route they can really throw that's going to hurt me. But if you take a look here, if I see a crossing route, then what I'm going to do, real simple, is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to take the crosser. Take a look at that. You see that? We got the pressure. That's why I like to blitz three. And as you see there, we've got a decent, decent coverage. Okay. This is kind of the starting point for how you're going to build your coverages this year, at least from what I'm finding out. And, and, and I think this actually the same concept can apply to defenses like cover six invert, cover three match, cover six, cover six trap, cover four palms. A lot of these match style defenses, you're going to see they're going to react uh, really well. Now, last thing I want to go over is this is a concept that a lot of people are doing on a gun bunch, um, I my, myself included. How does this play? You might be asking yourself, you know, how does this play against post routes? Because you're bringing these guys way down in the box. I just want to show you a deep skinny post. Um, these inside quarters do a really good job of getting back this year. Make sure you're pass committing if you're going to do this because you need them to get back. But if I run a skinny post here, take a look at square, you're going to see. Of course, I say that I got to click on to make a play, but you see that he's 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 in he's in the ballpark. Okay, you're going to click on, you're going to make plays. All of that's going to be true, but I would encourage you to try this concept. And you can try this concept from different defenses. It doesn't just have to be cover four quarters. I think it starts there, but if this can be cover three match, this can be cover six invert, this can be cover nine. This can there's all kinds of things that you can do. And my encouragement to you is to not get discouraged as a defense player. I was really discouraged myself um, with just the way things like cover two man can just get completely glitched to help cover two. You like should never ever run a cover two defense on this game. You know things like that was just kind of really discouraging me. But after really diving into the lab and learning some of these cover four quarters and type things like that, the seams are so good this year. This is the number one reason why I bring this up. So what I've, what I've had happen to me, I was playing somebody that was running like a tray, gun tray open or whatever on stream. And what I needed to, so when I bring this guy in, now if they're killing me in the, she, in the seam department, I might bring this guy over here. Okay, I might bring that guy over here just like this. And now I've got something, you know, more. Another little thing you could do if you wanted to is you could use her over here if you wanted to. Um, you know, that that is an option. But anyways, all that to say, you know, if they're going to hit you in the seams, and the seams are really, really good this year, you need to have something like this, you know, that can get kind of get in there. And again, we're going to click on, we're going to make plays and practice when I'm trying to show this with two controllers as best I can, show coverage. Um, but you see what I'm kind of talking about. These cover four quarters, you bring the safeties down, you're going to have very interesting opportunities, I think, to play better defense um, than you've ever played, at least at this point in the year in Madden 22. Obviously, we we're really hopeful that they're going to make some changes to the zones, maybe help us a little bit, make some of the underneath zones. I feel like the underneath zones are almost worse than the deep zones, but I could be wrong about that. But anyways, these are some concepts that you can apply to your defense. And if you want to know, like I said, we're working on a defensive ebook. That defensive ebook is going to be out. We're going to show you how to send a lot of pressure. This year's game it does have pretty good pressure as far as like different blitzing schemes that we can create um and it also if, if we can just get this coverage thing fixed right so um this is kind of a way that you can um you know one of the things that i've learned kind of a long time ago when i was playing when i was trying to get better at madden is whenever you have an obstacle it's actually an opportunity to learn something new it's an opportunity to get better in some way and so that's kind of what i've taken this and now i've got to find a defense i've got a lab i've got to practice i've got to do it and if I can do it in these conditions, then of course, when they fix the zones, I can, you know, I can have an opportunity. So that's kind of what I'm trying to get at, you know, uh, you know, stay encouraged, stay focused, lock in the lab, don't give up on defense. You're going to find stuff. My encouragement would be to lab in game and test out some of these principles from quarters. If you drop your, when you're using zone drops out of a quarters coverage, um, I think what you're going to find is those quarter zones will, will jump a lot better than you think especially against corner routes, especially against um, um, corner, or corner routes, post routes, like dig routes. I've been taking away dig routes with those inside quarters. Uh, like I said, post routes, seam routes, like from spread. I've been doing a lot better against those. So, you know, really the number one routes that are gonna actually beat me are mainly crossing routes, which I've kind of said, okay, that's my user responsibility. And obviously I can do zone drops to stop that, right? And I would encourage you either to do 30, 10, and 10 or 10, 30, and 10. 
So either put your flats on 30 or your curl flats on 30, put the other two on 10. That right there, at least for me, has been the best success I've had. It's more of a bimba don't break, they can hit the flats, but you're gonna be really solid, in, in my opinion, against a lot of things they're gonna do. So anyways, that is the video. Thanks for watching. If you wanna get those free uh, offensive and defensive guides whenever they go live, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We already texted one out to the community, so we're gonna have a couple more coming down the road. But anyways, thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if, if you wanna stay tuned for that big nickel ebook, we're gonna be uh, releasing that shortly. So thanks for your time.